Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use normally open contacts. We will also be using timers like T off. So, let's look at the example first. Example 32. When switch is turned on, output 1 and output 2 will be on. And then when switch is turned off, output 1 will be off after 10 seconds and output 2 will be off after 15 seconds. So in this case, we will use a normally open contact for switch and we will use a timer known as T off that will result in that when switch is turned off, outputs will be turned off after some time. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers having different configuration. So I will select TM221 C24R. Yes. So the logic controller I have selected has 14 digital inputs, stand relay outputs, two analog inputs, one serial line port and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for that example. I can also click on this for a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly I will insert a normally open contact for switch. I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as switch. Yes. And then I will insert two coils for output 1 and output 2. I will assign address to it as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as output 1. Yes. And then I will assign address to this coil as Q 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as output 2. Yes. And then I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. So when switch is turned on, output 1 and output 2 will be turned on. And then when switch is turned off, output 1 and output 2 will be turned off. But we need that when switch is turned off, output 1 and output 2 should remain on for some time. And it will be turned off after some time. So, we will insert timers for output 1. And then we will use another timer for output 2. So output 1 will be off after 10 seconds and output 2 will be off after 15 seconds. So the preset values are 10 seconds and 15 seconds. So the timer should be T off. And for output, the preset value is 10 seconds. So I will change time base to second and preset value as 10. And then apply. Then for output 2, I will connect it like this. I will drag it to here and then. The timer should be T off. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 15 and then apply. So 
when switch is turned on output 1 and out 2 output 2 will be on and then when switch is turned off output 1 will be off after 10 seconds and output 2 will be off after 15 seconds so output 1 and output 2 will remain on for 10 and 15 seconds respectively after when switch is turned off so i will exit full screen mode and then i will compile the program and then i will go to commissioning and launch simulator And then I will start controller. You are about to launch the controller. To do so, click OK. So I will click on OK. So I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So when I turn on switch, output 1 will be on and also output 2 will be on. And then when I turn off switch, output 1 will be off after 10 seconds and output 2 will be off after 15 seconds 6 7 8 9 10 and output 1 is off 11 12 13 14 15 and after 15 seconds output 2 is off so when i turn on switch output 1 and output 2 both are on and then when i turn it off these two outputs still remain on for some time and output 2 will remain on for 10 seconds when switch is turned off and output 2 will remain on for 15 seconds when switch is turned off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.